Postgraduate training in surgery has been a point of great pride at Michigan for many years. Our residencies, which include general surgery, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, and plastic surgery, attract talented people from across the United States and have produced some of the most important surgeons in this country. Clinical training is the bedrock of our residencies and will remain our number one priority. But many of our trainees are also attracted to the incredible research opportunities of the University of Michigan. And the fact is that winning federal support for resident research endangers this important opportunity. We're excited to initiate the Resident Research Endowment Fundraising Initiative. It's received incredible support. The Department of Surgery has contributed $6 million as seed funds for this effort. The faculty of the department, who know firsthand the importance of resident research, have pledged $300,000 a year for each of the next 10 years to this effort. The remaining funds to come from alumni, grateful patients, and community leaders. Ultimately, this is about our residents. This is about their futures. These are their stories. Thank you for listening. Uh, during the research time, I studied the changing environment in the small bowel in regards to how the bacteria that normally live inside our small bowel uh, is affected by and affects inflammation in the gut uh, and surgical disease that it, it may uh, pertain to. Inflammation in the small bowel actually affects the whole patient and so what I hope to tease out is to figure how we can affect the bacterial populations during the, the uh, perioperative period which may end up eventually decreasing the amount of complications that we see with surgeries inside the, inside the abdomen and particularly pertaining to the small, small gut. The two years that we get basically gives us a chance to, to step away from our, our clinical experience, which had been fantastic up until that point. But, but what this did was, was give us a chance to really focus on a problem that we learned to understand during our first three years of clinical medicine. Um, it gave us the opportunity to focus on an area that became uh, an area of interest to, to me. And it gave us, again, that opportunity to research it more and get some early expertise in the field. Uh, as we discovered things uh, and started to publish papers, you can head to conferences and talk to some of the other leaders around the country and world. Um, and again, get that, get that opportunity to, to advance the field in some small way. And that's a pretty cool thing. Um, I, I didn't expect that you know, I would be able to have that opportunity. In, but in two short years, um, people started to respect my opinion on things and ask my, my thoughts on, on the matter. I think it's important for us as kind of the future leaders of academic surgery to have this time. It really teaches us how to be an academic surgeon and, and what that entails. Uh, before this opportunity, before the academic development time, you really don't have a great understanding of what it takes uh, to do that. And during these two years, you learn uh, how to uh, start to answer a surgical problem. And, and that's not an intuitive thing. And, and the mentorship and the guidance that we get here is, is absolutely incredible. And so it is important for us to have this time um, to, to, again, um, be able to advance the field in, in whatever drives that individual. So it's a fantastic opportunity.